Greetings from the Salisbury Fire Department. This is the Salisbury Fire Department Training Minute. Doing the second part of our Z-Rig uh, setup. We did the first part as a traditional Z-Rig where you would set the rope up in the form of a Z and then uh, put your hardware in place. This is what's known as a shortcut. The rope, instead of being laid out in the shape of a Z, is put out in a straight line. Then our hardware is put into place. We have a pulley first, a pulley second, a prussic third, and then another prussic in the fourth position. Always working from the anchor to the load, from left to right. Anchor to load, pulley, pulley, prussic, prussic. What you'll do is you'll take the two outside pieces, which is a prussic and a pulley, and you hook them together. You will take the two inside pieces. You can hold this one. Take the two inside pieces back to an anchor. Again, what we're using for our anchor is the apparatus, which is bomb proof. We have a six foot anchor strap, both the pulley. That will take three to three and a as well as the prussic gets set into the carabiner. If you have prussic mining pulleys, those are always best to be used. If you've only got one, the prussic mining pulley is best to be here at the anchor and not about here at the load. The other end will simply drag to the load. And again, as we said in the first video, depending on the amount of hardware your department has, you may just want to do a figure eight reweave around the basket or whatever the load is that you're moving. In this case, we have enough hardware that we're going to go ahead and use a carabiner here with a fixed loop. And again, it comes out to be the traditional Z once that uh, last hook is done. From this point, we would do our uh, our haul, and then any resets that we would have to do, we will show you that in the third video.